What's the difference between a correction and a bear market? Traditional wisdom is a correction is a decline of 10%, while a bear market is a decline of 20%. But there's more to it than that. Think of a correction like a cold and a bear market like pneumonia. They're similar, but one lasts significantly longer than the other. A correction's like a cold, it's temporary. In fact, it's a normal and ironically healthy part of a bull market. Corrections generally happen every couple years. A recent one lasted from the summer of 2015 through February 2016, which is pretty long for a correction. In February 2018, the Dow Jones Industrial Average briefly dipped into correction territory before writing itself the next day. Investor optimism typically bounces back quickly as a correction runs its course. In a bear market, pessimism doesn't go away so easily, like in the financial crisis of 2008 and 9. Corrections can be caused by any negative event that sparks selling. Anything from a new announcement from the Fed, poor jobs numbers, or higher than expected inflation. By contrast though, a bear market is a downturn that is longer and is caused by a recession, a real contraction in the economy. Bear markets usually come with more repercussions. The Great Recession was a prolonged and particularly painful bear market. The federal government pulled out all the stops. TARP, bailouts, fiscal stimulus, and low interest rates, you name it, the government did it to backstop the declining stock market. And it worked. Markets have been climbing with few corrections ever since. The thing about bear markets is they're typically reflective of an event, a fiscal trade or monetary policy mistake. Think back to the Great Depression. It's widely agreed upon that the Smoot-Hawley tariffs, a protectionist policy that raised tariffs on 20,000 products, made the stock market crash worse. More recently, the dot-com bubble and mortgage delinquencies were key contributors to bear markets. Look for excesses. If something can only go up, beware. It's important to remember that a stock market correction does not necessarily indicate a recession. Markets and the economy are linked, but they're not identical. The joke is that the stock market has correctly predicted 12 of the last seven recessions. Of course, it's important to be prepared for market downturns. The best way to prepare is to have some cash or liquid cash equivalents or some short-term bonds. These will hold their value much better than volatile stocks, and that will help you protect your portfolio so you don't panic and sell at the worst time. Eventually, the sun is going to come out and the bear market or correction will end.